My name is Paul Wagoner. I am a co-director of Canine Performance Sciences at the College of Veterinary Medicine at Auburn University. I began at the ground floor as a graduate student and over the years have just stayed with the program and it's evolved over time of course and I've evolved along with it. Events in the world had created a situation where everyone knew that dogs were very capable of doing detection, but they didn't really understand anything about their capabilities, the limits of those capabilities, and that's how Auburn got started in the world, if you will, of canine detection. We've not taught dogs to do anything different that they've always known how to do. Nature has provided us with this incredible sensor and very intelligent sensor. Our job is just to essentially engineer better ways of using dogs for detection. Prior to Vaporwake, dogs are typically used for detection of static targets or things that weren't moving. And there was a need, of course, for detection of people as they move through different areas. And so we developed a method of how odor moves to understand better how to put the dog in position to take advantage of its amazing sensory capability and its intelligence for tracking odors to their source. Well, because the dogs are sampling the air and basically detecting odors in the wake of individuals, kind of like the wake of a boat as you think about the water passing through a boat, the vapor wake technology was really a landmark event in canine performance sciences. It changed the way that dogs that are selected and trained to detect threats based upon their odors. It's been a real game changer. It's changed the size and scope of venues where dogs can be deployed effectively to monitor large areas with large populations of people. They're actually sampling the air, but once they get into that vapor wake, they can then follow that odor to its source. You need a dog that is very independent and will not be influenced as much by the handler or other things going on around it. But at the same time, the dog has to be tractable or trainable. These dogs are purpose-bred to be exceedingly odor guided in their behavior and we just harness that to make a vapor lake dog. So it gives us the ability to be uh, proactive in the approach of trying to ensure that public safety is paramount for the police department uh, and the city and even the university. The dog has to learn that a person can be productive. The handler has to learn how to read the dog differently. What is the what's the dog's body language telling the handler so that they can respond accordingly. So my canine is Ikea. She is a Auburn University bred, German draw fire and lab mix. I've had her eight years now and wouldn't trade her for anything in the world. Where she goes, I go. It's not the other way around. I'm spending more time with her than I had to do with my family. In the 27 years that I've done this, it's probably one of the best jobs I've had. I think it's been very educational for us, and I think there's been some benefit for CPS as well, because they've had access to our dogs. You know, we help them with projects, and we've been very fortunate to, to be involved in some of their research that they've done. The Vaporwake patent itself is a methodology patent, if you will. We just developed a systematic way, everything from the selection of the dogs to then how they're prepared and then trained to perform that task. And this begins actually even in our breeding program where we're actually breeding dogs specifically for the purpose of use in person screening or vapor weight detection. That name has become very recognized in the marketplace and uh, is uh, very valuable in the marketplace. So we currently have three licensees on, uh, for VaporWake. The designation program allows all of these companies to choose how they want to be involved with VaporWake and how they want to uh, either develop or market or sell VaporWake products. In that licensing program, Auburn, the Canine Performance Sciences program itself, doesn't train dogs and handlers to then go out into the world and do operational work. Rather, there are licensees who follow the guidelines for Vapor Wake and are licensed to be a, if you will, an extension of Auburn. And that's how those dogs make their way out into the actual working world. Auburn is one of the few academic institutions that has a program or programs that look at dog as a technology and how to improve that capability. The whole way that people that are trained in the proper use of animals for threat detection has been revolutionized by this technology. Mm -hmm.